My name is Sam, and I'm the fastest man alive. Welcome to the Superhero Hub. I'm Sam. I'm Matt. You could have just said I'm Matt straight after that. And today, yeah, it, to do up for review... Crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, the Flash. Yeah, yeah. today we're going to be... Rev- I tried to do like a Flash intro, and it kind of... Mm. Whatever. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Flash. This episode was called... I don't know. Yeah, I can't remember either, but you'll see it in the title of the episode. Hashtag professional. Right. So, I mean, this kind of episode, like, following on from last episode, I'm going to make Kid Flash the focal point. This kid's getting cocky. I tell you, it was it was a good couple-minute opener because I found, like, they were all getting gaslight, betting on who's going to win the race, and HR was getting proper hyped about it, even though he didn't even properly know, like, currency and that. He's like, I bet a Lincoln. It's like, that's $100, isn't it? It's like, nah, mate. And they made a couple of references to, like, his earth as well that I was saying about Vice President Al Capone, which I kind of like that kind of sort of... Like stuff. It is yeah, a, it's a bit heavy handed, I think. Yeah, but I like it when they drop stuff like that anyway. I guess. So. I, li- I like the fact that um, they're making Wally a bit more cocky, they're bringing a bit more of his um, comic book personality into at least a traditional Wally's personality into him. I think that was what was lacking uh, last season, what drove me crazy. It was so damn whiny. They're kind of. Well, don't think that didn't happen this episode. Uh, because, I mean, that's what they tried to do. They made such a big point of saying that about we're going to make Barry like like his comic book counterpart, like really cocky and confident and that. And that yeah, they he, did that one episode. Barry's not really... I mean, he's confident, but he's not really funny. He, he never used to be, you know, funny. He was quite a serious guy. That was always more Wally's personality. I think, you know, that's part of why he suffered. Because Barry's got a lot of personality of the two of them from the comic books, and so they had to create another one for Wally, and it was not good. So I like the direction they're going in. Now, whether that what that means for him long term in the show, and whether it's going to catch up with him, we'll have to see. I'm not going to lie, I don't like Wally. I don't either, but I mean, if we've got if we've got to have him, at least give him some personality. Yeah, I don't kind of like how they're like proper forcing Kid Flash to be into the fog. They're kind of pandering to him. I, it's like mm-hmm. the way this kid is and that is if you don't pander to him he, he goes off sulking so I mean you had the race like and then it was like oh the big focal point you don't know how to face so we're going to spend the whole episode explaining to you how to face I mean Bar- Barry's kind of explanation of how to face what you got to do is you got to become pure lightning if I was like Wally I'd be like what does that even mean it's like yeah. just be like vibrate yourself you know what I mean I'm- in vibrate fairness, and then when you put I, your hand for it you can do it in fairness I think he pretty much was like that Wally he heard he heard what he first said and then told him okay but explain what I actually have to do not you know some random crap that you're saying and they what this episode was and they kind of addressed it in the show Barry brought it up talking to um, Cisco about how well she used to teach him it was kind of a, a return to the first season where Barry had to learn a new skill every time Except now he's in the position of teacher. He's a terrible teacher. He is. If I was Wally, I'd be messed off with him too. So, we got this guy. I think his name's Clive. He goes around and he touches people and he kills them. And stuff like that. See, my issue is, like, I mean, the main, like, oh, we're going to... we're gonna stop the future from happening, and like the main thing is, oh, um, Luigi's restaurant we- reopens after a murder, and it's like if you were, if you were Iris Wet, you'd stop like the place from reopening. So why wouldn't you just be like, yo, Barry, go in there and like set fire to it? I don't know. Like, you know, like gut the joint out so there's no way it can reopen. Show that that confuses me. All the time travel stuff and. How do we stop something from happening? You know, if I turn right, then I get hit by a car. If I turn left, then it never happens. But who knows? Yeah, so that that that's kind of pretty annoying because I really didn't serve any purpose to that. Um, I mean, yet again, Wally threw a hissy fit. You know, it's like, oh, don't don't bother calling Barry. I'm gonna go and take this guy out after like the first attack. All he did is like blow the guy over. He did his spinny hands, blew the guy over when he confronted him, and then like is standing there like proper nanging it. 
and like he let he lets Iris get touched and then like they get on back to the thing and then Barry's like oh you let her get why didn't you call me which is a fair enough assessment of the thing why didn't you why didn't you actually call Barry as well I mean two's better than one anyway you give you had a wobble you know what I mean and then Barry says oh why didn't you call me that was foolish of you and then yet again Wally storms off crying mm-hmm. like a little mm, I'm just going to get out the way so I can't mess anything up i.e. I'm going to go sit in literally the next room and sulk so classic Wally I mean he's annoying um, they're trying to plug this whole relationship between Joe and like the captain the really really short captain like the shortest woman I've ever seen in my life is Not... she a captain? yeah I think she is I think so in the scene the captain I think he dipped off I think he's gone now no he's still the captain because remember he was in he was in Arrow yeah I think she's just a cop. Yeah, I'm going to call her captain. So the woman <laughs> okay. captain, the shortest woman you've ever seen in your life. I don't really care about her. Don't really care about the relationship. And then they're bringing the daughter and she's getting gassed off the kid flash. Don't care about her. It's like... No, but they've got to build Joe up a little. You know, give him some sort of life. The yeah, poor guy. I like him. Yeah, but I like his life being like hanging around and doing stuff like that I like sure. him how he is I don't think they should change him I do he's sta- got to have some life in him and it's like it's not like it's going to be a part of every episode is it we're not going to see him all the time it's just one off no nah, they'll keep doing it more and more see the problem no, is if they're too busy focus on him having dinner with this really really short woman then it's going to be like he's not going to have enough time to actually do any cool stuff you know what I mean? He doesn't do much. I like the character, but he doesn't do much cool stuff anyway. He's there, you know, to support Barry and I guess well, Wally too, and give yeah, him I know. Details. But to, to be to be not uh, not really doing interesting stuff and still be like a likable character. I mean, that's that's, it's, that's it's some one, feat. It's one dinner or one episode, and they went to a movie like five episodes ago, or whatever it was. I don't think it's that big it's, of a deal. It's too much. But we did we did have um, the smothering me. <laughs> The movement with Joe in this episode, where he finally found out about Iris and blew up. That, ne- that nearly brought me to tears. That's been coming. You think these people will learn? How many damn secrets do they want to keep? Well, this ain't too bad, really, because he literally, five minutes later, he forgot about it. You yeah. know what I mean? She, she got, like, touched by the bad guy, and then start, uh, like, an arm started to, a forearm started to die. And then it was literally forgotten, never discussed again. So, I mean, that was a lucky escape. Next time they cock something up, they need to get someone on the brink of death so they forget about it. Because it was kind of cheery to them after that. I mean, you had Iris making a phone call, then she got, like, dropped, and then it's like, oh, it's so cool. My issue is, Julian now, I think they're trying to humanise him. I like him where he's kind of like, you guys are dumb. Your ideas are stupid. It's like, get out of my face. I, li- I like him, like, because there's no one really on the team like that. Everyone is, like, all pally, pally and stuff. It's like, have him around, like, being angry at everyone because they yeah, need and ho- that. and hopefully it won't change that. I don't know. Tom it- Fel- I don't have a problem with Tom Felton as an actor, but I've got to say, I really didn't buy the big speech where he was trying to G up um, Killer Frost or stop her being Killer Frost. Yeah, I Maybe... Mean- Maybe it's just Malfoy's in my head, but every time I hear him say something nice, I think, nah. I think, yeah, but that was just, I was watching that and I was thinking, he's literally telling her what she wants to hear. So yeah. I didn't really buy that either, I think, because they, they call, call, called him on it earlier in the episode about saying things people people just want to hear. So I think they, they, they were pulling that one because I was just like, I don't really care. It's like, Caitlin's a mug. It's like, yes, yeah, she had to use her powers. I'll admit, and then she's melting. So, but they've got to remember to build this stuff up because I think they're forgetting. Like people, the the they still got, you know, people sabotage prophecy. People are going to die. People are going to turn. So they can't forget about that one. That is true. But now they, I think it was brought up in the episode that they convinced themselves that Iris is the one that's going to die, and we all know that's not really going to happen. Mm. But I think that part of the prophecy they think has been solved. Yeah, um, but d- does Savitar know that? Does Savitar know 
that is going to kill Iris, but then it's like, actually, now they've interfered, is someone else going to die? It's a good question. I don't know. And then they can be like, oh, time has a way of correcting itself. You know what I mean? Hopefully not. I do think, you know, it is true there may be a way where they just work themselves out of it, but I do think once you've laid that out, you've got to do I it. I think they should kill Iris for this season. For next no, season, I, just I have think no it's, Iris. I think it's too early. No, nah, kill her off. Kill her a couple of years. Have her, go- have her gone from the season. You might as well do it now. They're not going to do it, though. They don't really kill people that matter. They killed Eddie last year. But, you know, yeah. Even, for Christ's sake, Arrow is brought back two Black Canaries, even though technically one of them's like an evil version. But whatever, they're both back. You know, they, they just don't kill people in these shows. It's not that matter, anyway. Yeah, but I'd like to see... If they killed them for, like, a whole season... That's what I said. Just kill them off for the whole season. Then at the end of the line next season. Well, so you want to kill Iris for a year and then she comes back? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Because it, it'd be better than killing her for like a week and then bringing sure. her back. You know what I mean? Um, and the thing with um, Killer Frost, that's like the second time we've seen that. Yeah. That same thing. People don't seem to learn and that. They don't they, they seem to they they've got like selective memory. They forget if she uses her powers she's gonna turn. I'll just use your powers, Caitlin. Oh but I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn now, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Okay, then, oh I've turned. They, they need to make up their <laughs> mind with what they're gonna do with her, you know. Make her they're not gonna make her evil. Uh, just, so what are you gonna do? Are you gonna let her use her powers and be a, a hero? Or are you gonna take them away? Don't do this again. Kill her. To... No, they're not going to kill her. Kill, kill her for a season. God, he definitely <laughs> kills her, aren't it? Solves the problem. Because like, are you really going to have like a good killer frost? No. That's what I mean. I don't... No, I think it will be like... I think I think it will probably be like what they do with Cisco. No, he's got his powers, but he doesn't really go out much. Yeah, I was going to say, can you imagine like Caitlin hobbling around, like using her powers to stop no. people? I mean, there'll probably be a free for all, you know what I mean? A Royal Rumble when they're fighting Savitar, where literally everyone with powers is like on it, but yeah. she'll and probably turn uh, again. And there'll be an episode <laughs> like we had last week, you know, with Cisco vibing into different places and whatnot. There'll be an episode where she'll be involved, but she won't be a part of the team. Mm. So, what else happened? I think literally we cut... I mean, the, they kind of went back to basics, you know what I mean? How they were in the first season. You haven't met a human, they do the CSI work, and then they end up finding them and stopping them. Kind of like they did like in every episode of the first season. So, they kind of did that. They kind of tied it around like the characters. Um... I'm bored of them focusing on Wally because I'm I have no interest in Wally. So Wally is a Wally. It's got to be guys. I don't think they'll do it. But if they were going to kill one person, kill Wally I for do you. think it will be him. No, I don't like him. That's true. But it does seem like they're kind of building up to something because, like you say, they they do all keep geeing him up. Yeah, they keep forcing they him on me. And I don't like it. Though. They keep on talking about how he's faster than Barry, which, yes, is, is from the comic books, but they keep on hyping this crap up. It's got to be going somewhere. So if someone dies, my money's on him, but I, I still I don't think they'll do it. Kill him permanently, kill him for a year, or kill him for a week. Which one do you think it's going to be? It will be for a week. <laughs> right, so... Or um, summer, or summer. It will die at the end of the season, and they'll come back the next. Yeah, I'm kind of sick of them, sick of them pushing them on me. It's like I don't really care. Yeah. And you I know, just... they're not going to die. You know, either it'll just disappear into the um, the speed force, and then Barry will go find him. Or they'll send him off to another Earth, or another si- send him off to another city. I'm fine with that. Yeah, with like Jesse Quick. Yeah. Keep him there. Yeah. Sadly, that didn't happen with Jesse because she came back. Yeah, but she came back good though. You know, you got you got Wally messing about with like phasing through the little bit of wood and that, getting gassed off himself. It's like, mate, you've already proved you can phase. Why are you getting gassed because you're doing it on a bit of bit of wood? You know what I mean? So you had Jesse. Uh, I'm kind of not sure how she whipped through a portal, but I think they must have explained that. I think they did. I'm pretty sure they explained that last time Harrison yeah, Wells was on the show. I can't remember how. They... Speed cannon, I guess. Something like that. Because she's they got super speed. So she had her dash through, 
Oh, uh, Gorilla, Gorilla God's taken my dad. See, that's okay in terms of continuity, because that, me that means they did actually dump him on Earth 2 then. Because there was debate where they actually put Gorilla Grodd. I was confused why they put it, but no, it's on Earth 2. Right, also, I think this will tie, you know, we'll see um, next week, but I think this ties into, isn't the Gorilla Grodd that's on Earth 2 the one from Earth 1? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't that Gorilla Grodd have some sort of relationship with Harrison Wells, who was really here by Thorn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that would explain probably why he took him. I guess we'll see next week. Yeah, but they explained that was an imposter anyway. So, because remember, they got him to put on the suit and go back and, like, get, save Caitlin from Gorilla Grodd. And it oh, was right. like, you're not yeah. my father. Father just takes, he doesn't ask. So, I about that. they kind of determined. So, I mean, you had her run in and be like, oh, yeah, Gorilla Grodd's taken my dad to Gorilla City. So, I mean. <laughs> Is I hope it's like modern. I hope they've like sh they showed that it's not just like the kind of cesspit it was last time we saw it. Because just like in the jungle and a couple stone statues and a couple huts. I want to see like proper like skyscrapers and stuff like that. Sure, and it'll be an interesting thing. You know, genuine. I don't mean this is not. But it's interesting to see budget wise how they handle it. Yeah, would well, there be lots if, of them? Yeah, because if there is, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Well, the thing is. Like it says in the in the newspapers that like this earth gets overrun by gorillas. Remember, because it's like oh, gorilla attacking the cities. So does that mean like trust? It did trust me. It did I say. I remember. That. I'll take your word. It did say like a gorilla attack. So does that mean they're gonna run through into this earth? If so, how are they gonna do that? I mean, explain if they're super like advanced, then being able to do it. Because I mean, gorilla grods like pretty goddamn smart now well he mm -hmm. should be he should have advanced like smarter than any human so I figure they've got to come through onto this earth but it's like how are they going to do that it's like because they've got they go to her earth to save Harrison Wells but her, but like at the end of the episode is it going to do a cutaway scene of like a couple of gorillas but then that surely means that they're gonna d have to do like another episode. Is this gonna be like a double hander where they where they have gorillas on that earth and gorillas on our earth? No, I don't think so. Because I think they they sh they've shot themselves in there by saying there's a gorilla attack on this earth. Yeah, but no one really remembers that. I remember it, and now yeah. every single viewer who watches this knows it. Facts. <laughs> all, all five of them. We're giving you the information. Um, so I think that pretty much covers it. Um. My oh. favourite character of the si of the episode, I'll have to say Jessie Quick. Oh, really? Yeah, I like her. Yeah, all right, I'll go with Joe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's talk numbers. Why? What? No. Why Joe? Why Joe? Because it gave everyone a verbal beatdown about keeping the secret, which they deserved. Cause it's doing my head in. Which he does every season, you mean? And so he should do. Yeah. Keep doing it until they listen. <laughs> they ain't gonna listen. No, 25 going on 13. Let's talk numbers. Holler at your boy. Uh, I am going to give it a 7. Yeah, I was going to say something like that. 7.5 because it is like the Flash. And I mean, it is getting me hyped for next episode. So yeah, I'd give it 7.5. Weren't nothing special. They kind of hyping up. It was kind of filler episode, but they were like, just by the fact they said, oh, this is something that kind of uh, it, it needs to change. In the, for the future is like change it from being a filler episode to kind of giving the impression it was important but really it wasn't it was just a, like one of Barry's training episodes except instead of it being interesting having Barry being trained it's Wallace yeah so that's it thanks for watching I'm Sam I'm Matt and you have been watching the Superhero Hub